All right then gang, so we're gonna create our very first Svelte app in this video. Now, in order to do this, you have to have Node.js installed. So if you don't have it installed, then go no further. Make sure you have Node.js installed, first of all, by going to this website, nodejs.org, and clicking on this button right here to download and install Node.js, first of all. Once you've done that, we can then go ahead and create a Svelte app by opening up a terminal. I'm going to use command prompt and I'm going to first of all install a package called Degit or Degit, can't pronounce it, don't know how you meant to pronounce it, but essentially this package allows us to easily clone the latest commit from a GitHub repo. It's a bit like using git clone, but it's easier to use and it's got some additional features as well. So we're going to use Degit to go out to the Svelte.js repository and grab a starter template for a Svelte app. That's what we're going to do. So to do this, first of all, say npm install hyphen g to mean we're installing this package globally on our computer so we can use it anywhere in any directory. And then it's called Degit. Press enter and that's going to install this package for us. Now we have that, the way we get this starter project from the Svelte.js repository is by saying Degit. Oh, and by the way, make sure you're in the directory that you want to create this project in. So I'm going to cd into documents and then cd into tuts where I put all my tutorials. And then we're going to create the project here. So now we can say Degit Svelte.js, the repo, forward slash template that's what we want from this repo and then we give our project a name i'm going to call it my project because i'm super original so digit now is going to go out to this repo find the template download it and create that locally for us in this directory and it's going to call this my project so press enter and it should install this for us okay dead simple so now i'm going to cd into my project like so and then I'm going to open up this in Visual Studio Code, and you can do that by saying code and then dot. So this opens up Visual Studio Code right here for us, and we can see now we have all of these different files and folders on the left. So all of this stuff right here, all of these folders and files, they were brought to us from the Svelte.js template repo. So it's basically just a starter project for us. Now, this kind of structure, if you've used something like Vue or React before, might kind of look similar because in Vue and React, we have things like a source folder or a distribution or public folder right here as well. So it's kind of a similar setup, but let's just run through these quickly. The source folder right here, this is where we write all of our source code using Svelte. Now, this main.js file, this is the main file that Svelte uses to kickstart our web app the app.svelte file right here. This is a Svelte component and it's the root component of our web app. So this is just a dummy component that comes along for the ride when we create this new Svelte app. And then we also have down here this git ignore file. This is just for version control. So if we upload to GitHub, we don't include the node modules or the build directory inside the public folder. Uh, we also have a package.json file which lists all of our dependencies and scripts. We're going to install these dependencies in a minute. We also have a readme file with some helpful tips for using Svelte. We have this rollup.config file as well. Now this rollup file is a bit like a webpack file. It watches our files, it configures our code compilation and it bundles to our output files as well. It's all set up and it's ready to use so there's no need to edit this directly. It's pure Svelte configuration. And finally, we have this public folder, which is where Svelte outputs all of the final production code eventually that we can then deploy. So we write our code in here. When we want to build our web app, Svelte compiles all of our code and it dumps it inside the public folder later on. This is also where we put things like style sheets or the index.html file as well, which is served to the browser. Now we're going to learn more about these different files and dive right into them later on. But for now, what I'd like to do is just a couple more things. First of all, we need to install all of the dependencies right here because when we used Degit to kind of clone this template from GitHub, it didn't install any of these. So we need to use npm to install those. So I'm going to open up a terminal by going to terminal and then new terminal and make sure you're in the correct directory, my project in my case, and then say npm 
install and it's going to go out and install all of these things that are required for this project. So once that's done, two things should appear on the left. First of all, node modules, which is where all of this stuff is installed to. And then secondly, this package lock.json file, again, just used to track dependencies. You don't need to do anything with this file. Okay, so now we've installed all that, what we can do is then spin up a local development server to preview our project. And to do that, we can just say npm run dev and press enter. That's going to spin up a local development server right here. We can click on this link and it's going to open up in a browser and it looks something like this. So this content right here is the content of our Svelte app and it's being driven by this app component inside the source folder. So you see right here, it says hello name and then it has this paragraph tag right here and these styles, this is what we're seeing down here in the browser, okay? Now, if we were to make a change over here, for example, if I delete all of this, then Svelte is watching our code. And when we save it, it's gonna automatically refresh in the browser. So if I save over here, then I minimize this, we can see now it's updated automatically in the browser. So we're gonna be using this local development server to preview our work as we go forward. So now we've set up this Svelte app, next we're going to look at how Svelte works under the hood and some of the basic Svelte syntax.